Hi everybody, I'm High Priestess Autumn Phoenix. This morning I woke up to a slew of comments from just one person and my sis Danielle about my IG channel broadcast about White Sage and how you have to cut off the burnt pieces because if you don't do that, you're not getting sage. You're getting burnt pieces and it will absolutely not work towards your magical purpose. And this girl that I've since blocked was just talking a whole lot of shit about what I should and should not be doing, why I should not be doing it, and all that type of bullshit that goes along with it. How many times do I have to tell you guys? Witchcraft is a craft. It's whatever you want it to be. You can't tell another witch what he or she can do, should not do, and more importantly, why not to do it. When a witch casts a spell, a curse, or a hex, they have their reasons. And those reasons do not need explaining to anybody. That's why a whole lot of you witches are not living magically filled lives because you are so caught up in what another witch is doing instead of focusing as you should on your own craft. You can't tell another witch what to do, especially if you're dead wrong. Yes, you do have to cut off the burnt pieces of white sage and either bury it or just simply throw it in the trash. When you burn sage that is already burnt, you're just getting smoke. Your house is going to stink. When you burn white sage that has not been burnt, that smell should never ever linger. If sage lingers in your house for maybe 30 minutes, it's because you did not trim off the burnt pieces. So that bitch who went on that rant and my sis Danielle that took care of her, you know, she was one of those people who never comment, never like any of my posts unless they disagree with what I say or what I do. You know, when I post videos on IGTV or Periscope or YouTube, I do it for free. There was a time when I charged $1,000 for each broadcast that I did because I'm that damn good. And I know the value I bring. I know what I can do. And to step up to a high priestess like myself and try to school me when you never ever interact with me anywhere on my social media platforms just shows me that you're doing it for clocked. You're doing it to try to get a reaction to me, out of me. And that is never ever going to be tolerated. I don't respond to those type of bitches, I just block. And if you really piss me off, I'll curse you. Do not try to correct me, I'm not wrong because I never make mistakes. I practice, research the craft for many, many years. I know what I'm talking about. And that insolence is not going to be tolerated by me. Like I said in my post this morning, I'm a really nice person, but I'm also a really bad person. And I've taken notice that a lot of you don't read my post all the way through. You don't watch my videos all the way through. But yet you have so much shit to talk. Shut the fuck up and read the whole thing or watch the whole video before you start popping shit. Because my thinking when people say something negative, when they clearly have not read the entire post or clearly not have watched the whole video is, shut the fuck up, bitch. Why do you always have something negative to say? So, I mean, I, I give value and I give videos for free. And I don't have to do that. It's a privilege. A lot of you who criticize should be grateful. Because I don't usually do work 
for poor people. I've done work in the past specifically for the wealthy elite. So for me to post videos for free, have some fucking gratitude because I can easily take that away. And then you'll have nothing. You would be nothing in the crowd. And you cannot tell another witch what to do with his or her magic because it's different for everybody. It's the same shit with following the wicked read. You're not obligated to follow it. If you want a master, if you want to be told what to do, go be a Christian, a Muslim, or a Jew. They have rules. In witchcraft, there is no rule because witchcraft is different for every witch that practices it. For every witch. And I would never tell another witch what they can or can't do because you don't understand the, the circumstances or the choices they had to choose from. So all of that criticism is not going to be tolerated on tolerate it on any of my social media platforms. I would just simply block you. And like I said, if you really piss me off, I'll curse you. 